And now we've got Sean Strickland versus Alex Pahea, a fight that is getting talked about a lot, a fight that a lot of people are really excited for, including myself. Sean Strickland is a slight underdog at the moment, and I'm picking him as that is a slight underdog. I feel like when the fight was announced originally, I was on Alex Bahia to get the win. I did think that Alex Bahia was going to win that one, but now that um now that I, I kind of think about it a little bit more, I see the training footage. I feel like the MMA guru is the one that really brought it to light. Sean Strickland's really been training his wrestling, man, and I feel like he's training his wrestling for a reason. I think he's going to look to wrestle Alex Bahia. And Alex Bahia, he has been taken down in the UFC. Bruno Silva took him down twice. Andreas Michalaitis took him down twice. Yes, Alex Bahia showed really good takedown defense in both of those fights, but I believe that Sean Strickland, you know, he's going to be a better wrestler. He's going to be a better grappler than those two guys. And I feel like... When a title shot is on the line, Sean Strickland, I don't think he's going to care if he wins a boring wrestling-based decision. I don't think he's going to care because he's going to get the mic afterwards and say something absolutely insane. But the point is, I feel like when a title shot is on the line and you're fighting for a title, uh, or a title shot, sorry, you're not um, going to try and just put on the most exciting performance for the fans. You're not going to try and strike with Alex Bahia. You're going to fight, and you're going to fight to win, so you can get a title shot against Israel Adesanya, who I believe wins the main event. Just spoiled the main event for you guys, but um, yeah, the winner of this fight is going to fight Izzy. You know, I know everyone wants Alex Bahia to win, because everyone wants to see Alex Bahia versus Israel Adesanya in the UFC, and I think that would be such a good fight, and a hard fight to predict as well, but I do believe Sean Strickland, you know, he's the easiest fight for Alex Bahia in the top five. And they've really rushed him to a title shot here. They really have. But Alex Bahia is a really good kickboxer. But the reality is, he was fighting kickboxing only one, two years ago. You know, he hasn't been training in MMA. He hasn't been training wrestling for that long. And uh, Sean Strickland, you know, he's been training wrestling for a lot longer than Alex Bahia has. And I do believe that he's got better wrestling than Alex Bahia. I think he's going to be better than the takedown defense of Alex Bahia. I think he's going to get the fight to the mat. And I think when he gets to the mat, I think he's going to keep it there. And I think he is going to win a decision based on, like, ground and pound and sort of control and just keeping Alex Bahia on his back. I think he's going to fight a smart fight. And I think he's going to call out this Rada Sanya after that. Yes, I know everyone will be like, oh, it was boring. It was a wrestling uh, based um, fight, you know, and uh, he didn't. He was too scared to stand with Alex Bahia, but the reality is everyone's too scared to stand with Alex Bahia, unless your name is Bruno Silva and you're just an absolute savage. But um, yeah, I don't think Sean Strickland is going to be dumb enough to strike uh, with Alex Bahia. I really don't believe um, he's going to do that. I think Sean Strickland's going to fight a smart fight, and I think he's going to take Alex Bahia down to the ground and win a decision. Bahia... If he wants to win this one, he's going to have to get a knockout. I see a knockout from Bahia. I really do. And I really want... You guys... Yeah, look, you guys got to understand. I really want Izzy versus Bahia. Because that would be such a good fight. And the build-up would be insane. But I'm just going to look at it from my perspective. I do believe Sean Strickland's going to get the win here. He's got a few submission wins in his career. He's got four submission wins, I believe. So he has won by submission before. I think he's going to play it smart. I think he's going to play the really safe and smart game on top of uh, Alex Bahia, and he's going to win a decision, a grinding wrestling-based decision in, in, in a smart fight to beat the striker, to beat the kickboxer who hasn't been training MMA for that long and earn himself a title shot in Sean Strickland.